Hello friends, in today's question, a cart is moving along x direction with a velocity 4 meter per second. A person on the cart, cart throws a stone with a velocity 6 meter per second relative to himself. In the frame of reference of the cart, the stone is thrown in yz plane making an angle of 30 degree with a vertical z axis. At the highest point of its trajectory, the stone hits an object of equal mass hung vertically from a branch of tree by means of a string of length L. A completely inelastic collision occurs in which the stone gets embedded in the object. Determine, so we have to find two things. Part A, the speed of combined mass immediately after collision with respect to observer on the ground. And part B, the length L of the string such that tension in the string becomes zero when the string becomes horizontal during the subsequent motion of the combined mass. So it is said that we have a cart which is moving along x direction. So this is our x direction and suppose this is a cart and it is moving with the velocity of 4 meter per second. So cart is moving in x direction with the velocity of 4 meter per second and it is said that a, uh, a stone is thrown with velocity of 6 meter but in the plane of yz. Okay. So this is our z axis and let us suppose we can draw this is our y axis and we have a plane of reference that is yz plane which will be coming something like this sorry like this and this particle is thrown in this yz plane so it will be traveling something like this with the velocity of b and that is given as 6 meter per second such that it makes an angle of 30 degree with the z axis so let us suppose this is theta and your theta is given as 30 degree now this stone let us suppose this is the trajectory of the stone and at the highest point it meets equal mass which is hung by a string so let us suppose this is the equal mass and this equal mass is hung by the string and L is the length of the string so once again you can say that this is at t equals 0 and we say this happens at t is equal to time t and at this particular point this is our y axis and this is our z axis yeah. so let us draw the plane once again so this is our y z plane Let us call this as point P and this as point Q. So therefore, in the first part, we are supposed to find out the speed of combined mass immediately after collision. Okay. And but we have to find out with respect to the observer on the ground. Okay. So every every calculation has to be done with respect to the ground. So let us calculate first of all the velocity of the stone with respect to the ground in the first part it is given that the velocity of the cart is in x direction you can see velocity of cart let us denote it as v cart that is given as vi i means in x direction Therefore, we can find out the 
relative velocity of the stone with respect to the cart. So we can say velocity of stone with respect to cart will be equal to it can be divided into two parts along this axis we are going to have v sin of theta and here we are going to have v cos of theta and v is given as 6 so we can write this equation as 6 sin of theta along y axis plus 6 cos of theta along z axis we substitute the values we can say that our v stone with respect to cart will be coming as 3j plus 3 root 3 times k now we have to find out with respect to ground so we can say velocity of stone with respect to ground velocity of stone with respect to ground we can write the equation as v stone is equal to relative velocity of stone with respect to cart plus velocity of cart so we already know these two values we substitute it here and we are going to get the equation as velocity of stone v stone is equal to 3j plus 3 root 3k and velocity of the cart is 4i so therefore we can say this is the absolute velocity of the stone with respect to ground this is absolute velocity of stone with respect to ground now it is said that at the highest point they are going to collide with each other which is having equal mass and the highest point is our q so we can say at point q at highest point q the vertical component component which means z of the velocity is equal to 0 so at the highest point the vertical component of the velocity that is z comes equal to 0 but the x and y component x component and y component of velocity will not change therefore we can say the velocity of stone at highest point q will be equal to now we already know the equation let us call this equation number one from equation one in this case we are going to put z component is zero and we are going to get velocity of stone at point q will be coming equal to as 4i plus 3j 
and we can find out the magnitude here okay so we can say velocity at q will be equal to 4 square plus 3 square which will be coming equal to as 25 so we can say velocity at point q will be coming as 5 meter per second Now it is given that a collision is perfectly inelastic. Given the collision is perfectly inelastic. Therefore, you can say that if V0 is the velocity of the combined mass velocity of combined mass is given as v0 after the collision after the collision so we can use the conservation of momentum Conservation of momentum. We can write that m into velocity of stone is equal to 2m multiplied by v naught. M and m cancels out. So you can say uh, v naught is equal to velocity of stone divided by 2 velocity of stone is our 5 so we can say v0 is equal to 5.2 so we get v0 is equal to 2.5 meter per second so this was our first part that the velocity of the combined mass just after the collision say so this is the velocity of combined mass just after collision. Now let's calculate the B part. So for the B part, it is given, or we have to find out, the length L of the string such that tension in the string becomes zero when the string becomes horizontal during the subsequent motion of the combined mass. Therefore, let us assume that we have a string and this is initial position and after the collision, let us assume it is making an alpha with a vertical And here the mass will be 2m, it will be 2mg, tension T and we can divide into two components, this is alpha so this will be also alpha, so this will be 2mg cos of alpha and this will be 2mg sine of alpha. We are saying, suppose string makes angle alpha with the vertical, therefore we can write the equation as T minus 2mg cos of alpha is equal to 2m v square upon L. Now it is given that or rather it is asked that when the string become horizontal so you can say when string becomes 
horizontal and the string will become horizontal tension t is equal to 0 and alpha will equal to 90 degree okay. so it means it will be in this position somewhere here so we put both the values so we get tension t is 0 cos 90 is 0 so 0 we get 2 m v square upon length l or we can say this will be equal to velocity is equal to 0 from here we can say that velocity is 0 when the string is in the horizontal condition thus velocity is 0 when string is in horizontal position now we can use the conservation of energy okay. so using conservation of energy energy conservation kinetic energy will be equal to potential energy because it is going to rise this length is given as L so it is going to rise by the length L so we can write the equation as half 2mv square is equal to 2mgl here 2 and 2 cancels out m and m goes therefore we get length l will be equal to v square divided by 2g and here rather i can say this will be v naught because velocity of the combined mass is v naught this is v naught square 2 mg l and v naught so v not v not value already we know that is 2.5 whole square divided by 2 into 9.8 and we get length l is equal to 0.38 meters so this is the length of the string Yeah, this is the length of the string which were asked in part B. This is the length of the string. So this completes the question. Thank you.